Oh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> hey, we're back again. It's Celeste. And Karee. And we are here to... Wait, is that what they said? Oh. What? We're back with... We're here back with you. Some... I don't Whatever. freaking know. It's, Whatever. It, 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 it's one of the moments. All right. It, it. Well, for this so, video, it's things that we don't like about guys. That just... Irritates. Completely irritates and irks us and just rubs us the wrong way. Like, we can't stand it. Like, and these are obviously us. Like, we don't Not know about other uh, people. Yeah. We don't know about them, but for us. All right, you go first. All right, so I don't like it when a guy constantly picks me up. Oh my God. Like, first off, I'm not going to lie. It's going to make me feel like a whale. I may, I, I know I'm not, and I know it, I'm okay with my weight and everything, but when you constantly just up, 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 I'm like, oh my god, I need the ground. <laughs> I'm serious, I just can't. Oh, and it's like, if it's you trying to prove your strength, stop it. I don't <laughs> care. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wow, okay. That's, that's definitely that's deep. not on my list. That was deep. Okay. Um... um Oh my gosh. When your hands are in your pants. Oh my god. In public. I can't stand it. Like, and constantly, like, even, like, at home, you know, you're at home, whatever, but you can't just, like, 20 hours later, it's still there, and you're like, mm. It's like, they don't, you don't wash your hands and after you, it. You don't see us with our hands, like, in our bra or, like, in our pants. I'm trying to keep my hands warm. So so you guys say, oh, it's a good boobs. place to keep, keep your hands warm. We well, don't, like, our boobs are a great place for us to stay warm, but you don't just see us walking around. Yeah, no, like, that's not what we do. No. That's so gross. I, okay, so next is I hate it when a guy, like, say a guy, like, likes you, and what they do is they insult you to prove they like you, and... I That's like you when wrong. they play with you. Like, yeah, like if you poke play with you us sometimes and, like, and mock make, you. Make jokes, but you can't insult us. <laughs> and even if you don't sad. mean to, just think before you say it. Yeah. Because it could go very wrong. It's like, oh, Becky, you have big ass. Maybe you should go get a reduction. Yeah. And he's like, I'm just kidding. I like you. Go on a date with me. And then Becky's like, no! Asshole. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Anyways, um, facial hair. I hate facial hair! Get this stuff off of you! <laughs> okay. Hate it. If you hate it on me, I hate it on you. I don't like it when you kiss me and all I hear is, like, scratching on my face and it's like, no! No, no, no! Like, for me... I think a little Ugh. bit is okay, like, if it's a little stubbly or whatever, like, it's just be like, oh, scruffy or whatever, but I don't like the full-on beard, mustache thing. Extravaganza. I, no. And another note with the hair, I can't stand really long hair, like, shoulder-length hair, just, uh, like, it's like stop. it has to be, like, like, the longest for me is, like, I don't know, like, mid-ear or something, like... How guys like do that whole I don't know what to call it, but Their like bangs? that's fine. Yeah, like, like, I like how the guys forehead do the bangs. Bang length thing that, that guys that's do. That's okay. Like that's everything's fine. else short and then your bangs are just yeah. long. That's okay. Just not like but girl hair long. It's just I don't want to think he, I'm a lesbian, sorry. It's ridiculous. I'm not. And then um I can't stand when a guy looks at another girl while with you. Like, I'm going to be completely honest. I'll be with someone. I will look at another person and be like, that boy is hot. But it won't be in front of you. And I won't do anything with that person. And I trust that you will do the same. Like, you can look at another girl not in front of me. Because that's just wrong and disrespectful. And I'm going to trust that you aren't going to do anything with her because we are in the relationship. Wow, isn't that surprising? It's coming from a white girl, and it should really come from me. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I look at, I'll be in a relationship. I look at another guy. He's hot. Okay. I don't want oh, you well. looking at another woman. That's just it. 
I want to be the only woman on your mind. I'm going to, tr- like, I, I, to me, I know it's going to happen, so I'm just going to trust you. I want to be the only woman in your mind. That nothing will happen. And I, I, I hope I'm the only woman in your mind and stuff, but if it happens, it happens. Like, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. I know, I know a lot of guys have this, and some of them are so cute, but gauges. I don't like gauges, especially the ones that are, like, this big. Oh, and, and like, you take them out, ear. and it, like, your ear dangles. No. Just this is no. Gross. I just, ugh. Why? I, okay, some of you have really small ones, Paper. and it's okay. It's okay until it hits a limit, and it's like, mm, no, I don't want to fit my fist through your ear. I don't even want to be able to fit my pinky finger in your ear. I don't want to fit anything through your ear. That is so nasty. Mm-mm. I just can't stand it because it's disturbing. And when I'm talking to you, all I can think of is, what the fuck is on your ear? <laughs> oh, my it's God. horrible. And then um, I don't like it when a guy shows up, up out of nowhere. Like, to, like, do, like, a cute little surprise thing for your girl or whatever. Like, that's fine. But you can't just pop up and be like, hey, let's do this. No, you, you need a plan in advance. Like, be like, hey, let's go to the park or something, do that, and then you surprise them with something, surprise us with something there. That's fine. You can't just show up. I don't like that. I'm a planning person, so I can't. I, I plan. Anyways, um, the next one is leading you on. When a guy wants to, like, lead you on, for a pencil at school, okay? Like, there's this guy in my first hour, and he thinks he's so hot that he can just say whatever to any girl, and she'll be okay with it. No, there is going to be some feelings from that girl. Okay, so he wanted a pencil for me, right? And he says this. He's like, hey, cutie, do you have a pencil? And then he winks at me after. I'm like, no, not for you. <laughs> He's like, what's wrong, honey, and stuff like that. It's like, stop calling me that. I'm I'm not your honey. Not your cutie pie, whatever the freak you want to think of a name. That's not me. <laughs> Go find a freaking girl that would appreciate that, because it's not me. Uh, it's either you're mine or you're not. Okay? I'm sorry, but I don't like it when guys do that and lead you on and think that it's okay to... Just say, oh, no, we're just friends with benefits. Friends with benefits are real relationships. They're the fakest relationships <gasps> you can ever think of. I hate friends with benefits. You can't kiss and tell and stuff like that. It's like, oh, hey, booty call, come over. Okay, no. I can't. I just can't. I wouldn't be able to last at all. Like, not even, like, two seconds. I'd be like, can't. Like, especially You're... with a no, ta- no, ki- no ki- kiss, no tell thing. Like, uh, I'm telling people. Yeah, okay. Especially if it's good. Of course I'm going to tell people. What do you think? If you're in a friends with benefits relationship, get I'm out of sorry. it now. Leave, please. Now. Like, go find a real relationship and someone that will accept you, unlike the person you're with now. I'm just saying. Makes sense. And then, I don't like it when a guy says something and then doesn't follow through. Yeah, oh my god. Like, that's pretty self-explanatory. I don't need to go in depth with that. Like, oh my god. you say you're going to do something, do it. Unless it's stupid, of course. Then just, no. Just stop. No. It's just not acceptable anymore. It's not like you really. passed that level. Like, it's out of here. And, oh my god, I hate this one. When guys have body odor, <laughs> fix it! There's showers... There's deodorant. There is all of those lovely things you can just put on you. Body odor sucks. Like, <sighs> like you you just got back from the gym. Oh, cool. I'm glad you worked out and you're staying fit. Go take a shower before you touch me. That is so nasty. Like, I can't Go put some it. deodorant on under your armpits. Go put, put some, some cologne. cologne. <laughs> and then you can come talk to me. I don't care. You. you can even use my perfume if you need to. Brush them teeth, too. And wash your hair. Uh, Don't keep it all. No. Mm -mm. No. And then, lap. Oh. Actually, no, that's not what's my last. I'm I'm just going to say my last two, okay? Sure, go ahead. Okay. So, 
One, I hate it when they pick at their hands. Like, I see so many guys picking at their hands and... Oh, stop it! You don't see me biting on my nails and stuff. That's just gross. You, you don't pick. Picking bothers me. And then, my last one is when the guy ac accuses you of, like, not trusting him or they think that you think they would do something that they actually wouldn't. Like... Honestly, we don't know, like, we could be together for a while, and I still won't know what you would, what you wouldn't, wouldn't do. Like, obviously, like, I would have some idea on some things, but not everything. And I'm going to trust you. Obviously, there's going to be a point to that trust because, you know, it takes a while to, like, fully trust someone. But you have my trust until proven otherwise. I'm with her on that one. Um, I feel like I'm preaching. It's okay. It, it really does feel like that, actually. I feel like we're preaching. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Anyways, uh, the next one I have is being clingy. Like I, I need, I need time for myself. Like I love, I love it when you want to hang out and just cuddle and stuff and everything. But not every second of every day. I can't stand that. Oh, it's like I see you for half of the day and then I go home for barely an hour and you text me hey you want to hang out again no I don't want to hang out again I want to go take a bath nice warm bath with my candle lit stuff and read the notebook while I'm taking a bath don't want to be freaking you don't read I don't I don't like books I hate books I'm sorry if any of you guys think book reading is sexy <coughs> JC Kalen um <laughs> <laughs> I, I hate she'll books. read for you though like it, it, if necessary she will read for you I would read for JC Kalen I would read a book I would read 10 books just to be with that piece of amazingness thank the lord he was made <laughs> awkward uh, anyways <laughs> well then another thing that? was is when they're video pigs the lovely video pigs, when they like to play their video games, and all they do is play that. Like, okay, they go out of the house. Lovely. They take their phone out, and all they're playing is Angry Birds. Then they go home and play Call of Duty. And then an hour later, they're playing Ghost or something. I don't know. I, I don't know these guys. I don't understand I don't play. Games. I don't just play hear so it. Yeah. And I don't, I frankly, I don't understand the games. Like you, you can try to teach me all you want and it won't happen. <laughs> you can teach me. I probably will understand it, but I'm not gonna get like, obsessive with it and play it every freaking five seconds. No, I'd like to hang out with you sometimes. So that's just it. And yeah, that's it. Pretty much sums it all up. Yeah. So, but you know, just just those things. If any of this applies to you. I'm sorry. Please help yourself. There's, there is a guy that can give you advice, and his name is Justin Kalen. He's an O2Ler. Freaking hot. I'm going to marry him someday. Going to marry him. <laughs> Are we seriously going to put this in the video? Yep. I'm going to say this. I'm going to marry him. Just kidding. This is I'm getting... Gonna... I'm going to try my best to get him for her birthday. Not, I would... not like, like property kind of get. No. Just like, hey, me, what's up? How's it going? Kind of, let's get I, to I know would, each other. I would love that. And I'm going to marry him. Just, just, Justin, if you're watching this, you know, you can call me. Just call me and tell me you love me because I know we're going to get married someday. And I don't know if we're going to have children because I don't think I want children. But <laughs> what if he wants kids? Then, would you have at least one for him? Yeah, I guess. Well, not at a young age, like 20, probably 30. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I want to keep my figure. <laughs> I like how I look. Kind of, not really. <laughs> Is but, this how I style? But, yeah, that's basically it. Yep. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you guys now understand what totally irks us about you. Only us. Like, we like, know it's not about all guys, not about all we guys. We know all, this does not apply to all guys, and it does not, and what we said does not apply to all girls about guys. This is our perspective only. 
Yeah, so don't get offended of what we're saying. If we, you do, I hope you don't. Fix it, because we're not we're trying, not to, trying say to that it's all guys that do this. Just some of them. And hey, girls, if you if we didn't say something that you think really irritates you about a guy, put it in the comments. Put it in the comments. That, did I really sound like that? Yeah. Oh, my bad. A lot. <laughs> That's yeah. awkward. A little. Ooh, okay. All righty. Well, I hope you guys liked that, and we'll post another video next time. So, bye. See ya.